All right, hey everybody, Seth and Ryan here from Go-To-Market Advisors, bringing you another vi video on our series around uh, what we're calling the manager gap. Uh, so just to anchor everybody to kind of the past conversation we've had, if you look at the current ecosystem in SaaS today, the biggest linchpin to predictable growth is frontline managers. And the biggest struggle for organizations right now is they're relying on a lot of inexperienced managers. And it's not something that is just, you know, seen by big companies or small companies. It's the reality of today, which is SaaS grew a lot farther than the talent could handle at the moment. And so what we wanted to jump into today is if you look at managers within your organization, they are the linchpin to success. They sit within the middle of your organization and your dependency to growth is a lot of times dependent on them. And so if you think about what you're asking of a manager day to day, right? You have your executives who are coming in and saying, hey, I want you focusing on these areas and strategy goes down to a manager. Well, then what does the manager have to do? Manager has to disseminate down which of those strategy components that they need to push down to their reps to provide executional guidance. But if you stop yourself and just think about that concept alone, how much feeds into that? How should you run a discovery call? How should you do pipeline management? Who should you target? There's all these different strategy components that you're pushing down to a manager and then you're allowing them to make decisions to provide executional guidance to the field. Well, think about how that flows back up, right? There's not just downstream implications for them, they have upstream as well. And so they have to analyze what a rep is doing and get executional feedback from them to then analyze and provide insights back to an executive around you know, what's working with the field, why are we not selling more, why are we losing these type of deals? And so they have to disseminate down a lot of critical information very quickly. And so if you look at frontline managers, it's not as simple as they just run team meetings and one-on-ones. They are essential to your business success, period. Ryan, anything you care to add on that? The missed gap here for many organizations is the, the open to interpretation problem that exists. You're saying, I want you to go west. So you didn't tell me which highway. You didn't tell me which direction. You didn't tell me at what speed. And so it leaves this manager in a position where they're in the interpretation business of your strategy and translating that strategy into tactics. Back to our, where we started the conversation, these folks don't have a lot of experience in general, never mind doing that. Yeah. And so you have to ask yourself, if the organization's success the revenue, the, the win-loss type scenario is dependent on that translation from strategy to execution. Are you confident that, that person is doing it in the way you want? And maybe a good question to ask your organization is, do you even check? Yeah. I think, I think the reality is most organizations don't check. They assume. I think that's part of the ecosystem problem right now is you have managers who are are doing one-on-ones and doing team meetings and doing deal reviews, but no one's spot checking them. No one's analyzing is, is that the right strategy that we actually want them doing? And so if you start to think about not only the importance of managers in your organization, but what are you doing to equip them? You start to realize that there's quite a bit of things to equip them with, starting off with just what are your standards? What should a manager do within your organization? You know, a simple thing that we've talked about in the past that you can, you know, you can talk to your team about today is. What does a manager mean? Ask that to your, see what you get back. I think you'll be surprised as you think about what flows downstream and how they need to disseminate it down, how simple you need to describe the solution to them. Yeah, we, we talked about that before. I would take it a step farther. I, I think that's okay from the 50,000 foot view. We always I like think, to take things further, so go for it. So, so but, but let's apply it to what we're talking about. When yeah. you roll out a strategy, and that strategy needs to be translated into tactics day to day for the field. Great place to start is ask your manager, what are you planning to do? I'm asking you to go do this. Walk me through your plan to do that. Right. Or maybe even more simply, I just told you I would like you to accomplish X. What do you believe that means for you? Yeah. Those are the then, kind of questions we need to ask yeah. to make sure that if we're telling them to do a thing that when they run off for the next, you know, five to seven business days to go do a thing, are they doing what you want? 
Yeah, and and the, and the the secondary component to that is you as an executive need to teach them. It's not just ask the manager and then get mad at the manager for not knowing. You need to equip them. And so the reason why you're not getting good answers, you haven't equipped them. You haven't told them what the execution should be like. And so I think that's that's kind of the main piece here as you think about your manager team is they are the linchpin to your success. If you empower them, you will be successful, period. Because they have the most influence on your frontline field, which dictates your success ultimately. And they're the ones also that can give you the best inputs to make strategic decisions, right? You can't be in every sales meeting. You can't look at every call. You can't get the real pulse of what's going on in the field. You need them. So I think as we continue this series, think through that lens of, are you actually equipping your managers to be successful for what you're asking them to do? And are you even defining the basic standards that you want out of them? as it pertains to strategy and execution. Yeah, I think the last thing you said, I think is really important. I think when we talk about standards, we almost universally are speaking about individual contributor standards. We are not often, and we should be, speaking about leadership standards. That is clearly established expectations from executives down to managers on how you want them to do things. Yeah. So I want you to go increase sales. I want you to do these things. Executives speak in outcomes. They do not do an effective job in most cases of clearly articulating how they want the manager to execute things. I'm not talking micromanagement. I'm saying, I expect in this example, we're saying that analysis comes from manager back up to an executive. Great. You want feedback. Tell me exactly the type of feedback you want, how you want that feedback delivered, what types of data points are important, more important or less important, those type of things. So establishing the expectations, man, the managers that we see interacting with are incredibly hardworking, well-intentioned, and passionate about what they do, but they cannot hit a hidden goalpost. You've yeah. got to give them expectations. And right. I think when you do that, you'll see them rise to those expectations once they are clearly presented. 